Hello everybody and welcome back to another Prehistoria video. This is Blocks and Builds and in today's video we're going to be going over Prehistoria's latest update, the Fossil Coin update. Besides going over the update's content, we'll also be talking about Prehistoria's soon to come Iguanodon update as well as future features that may arrive to the game. So if you want to see future Prehistoria update coverage videos like this, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel and otherwise, um, let's get straight into the video. Alright, now here I am in Prehistoria's menu and if you look at the top left corner of my screen here, you may notice something different. There used to be Firefly coins up here, but now they've been replaced with a new kind of currency called Fossil Coins. Now I like the way the Fossil Coin looks, the hexagon shape plus the bone in the middle. It looks very fitting for you know the Fossil aspect. Now, every single player who has played this game before the update has received a specific amount of fossil coins. I'm going to pull up the amount on the screen right now. Every player will receive 40% of their current Firefly count. That means if I go back to the menu here and I go into the shop, you can clearly see my Firefly count and you can see my fossil coin count. So, the game will take your Firefly count as of the time when the update was released and take 40% of it and that amount is the amount of fossil coins that you will receive for free. Now, fossil coins have a different purpose from firefly coins. To put it simply, fossil coins are used for buying dinosaurs and fireflies are used for buying cosmetics. If we go into the create dinosaur menu over here, you can see at the top right that my fossil coins are up there. And if I go into unowned herbivores or carnivores, I don't have any unowned carnivores, but if I go into herbivores, you can see that it costs 1,400 fossil coins to research Styracosaurus. In the past, it would have cost a few fireflies, but now, the, instead of costing fireflies, dinosaurs will now cost fossil coins. Now, as for fireflies, their new purpose is to buy skins. As you can see, I have some skin palettes available here that I can get, and they cost fireflies. The lime accent unlocks for 100 fireflies, and the other skin palettes for the other body regions unlock for fireflies too. Now I really like this new change to the game because it makes the decision between buying a new dinosaur or making your existing dinosaurs look prettier so much easier to decide in between. Instead of having to allocate specific amounts of fireflies for your skins and specific amount of fireflies for your dinosaurs, now you can buy one without affecting the other, which gives players a lot more financial freedom in the game. Now, fireflies and fossil coins are earned at a different rate from each other. I'm gonna go ahead and show the rates on the screen right now as well as summarize them for you. So basically, fossil coins are earned at a slightly slower rate than fireflies. Fossil coins are earned at a rate of 10 coins per 90 seconds, which is 10 coins per 1 minute and 30 seconds, whereas firefly coins are earned at a rate of 10 coins per minute. So it will take slightly less time to earn more Firefly Coins, meaning you'll be earning mo way more Firefly Coins than earning Fossil Coins. Now if you look at the top right of my screen here, I'm currently in game playing as the Baryonyx. You can see the two new currencies, we have the Firefly Coins on the left and the Fossil Coins on the right. Now besides passively playing the game to earn Fossil Coins and Firefly Coins, I believe that in future, Fossil Outcroppings will be added to the game that can be collected to obtain Fossils. Now, there's not much information on fossil outcroppings as of now, but I suspect and I have a few theories that they're just gonna generate like the usual EXP crystals over here. You'll find them in rocky areas around the map and collecting them can give you a tiny bit of fossils. Alright, now that we have the current update out of the way, it's time to get on to the next few possible updates for the game. Now, the next confirmed update will be the Iguanodon update where Soul Explosion will add a new dinosaur, the Iguanodon. And he has explicitly stated that the Iguanodon doesn't actually look like what we've seen in the concept arts. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the concept arts on the screen right now and show you guys a little teaser that Soul posted a while back for the Iguanodon. And as you can see there, the head shape, the snouts are a little different from the concept art. Besides the Iguanodon, the upcoming update will also feature some new biomes to the game, namely the mangrove and some part of the tropical beach. Now, the tropical forest shorelines that are coming next update are part of the overall Great Lake map expansions, which is a group of upcoming updates that will expand the map to add in the upcoming Great Lake biome, which from what I know as of now, it is a huge lake in another portion of the map that has not yet been completed. 
Now, besides these new features that have been confirmed to come in the next update, we also have some new dinosaurs that have been announced. Now, if I go ahead and look in the Priority 2 section of the roadmap, which is the Trello board, I'm going to post a link to the Trello board in the description below, so if you guys want to take a look, you can go see yourself. But, if you look at the Priority 2 section, we can see two new dinosaurs in there. There's the Nothronicus which is a kind of Therizinosaurid, I think, or relative of Therizinosaurus. And then we have the Austroraptor, which is a Dromaeosaurid, a raptor, which is actually pretty big. I think it's near the same size as Utah Raptor, although it's lighter. Now, if we go into Priority 3, we can see the same old Struthiomimus. But however, we can see there's two new dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus and the Simosuchus. Now, if we move on to Priority 4, there's three more dinosaurs that have been announced. Tachia, Thalassodromaeus, and Tarbosaurus. Now, Tarbosaurus is, I think everyone knows, related to Tyrannosaurus. Then there's Tachia, which is a relative of Ankylosaurus. And then we have Thalassodromaeus, which is a kind of pterosaur. In Priority 4, we have the Microraptor, which we all know already. But besides that, we also have the Polacanthus, which is, again, another relative of Ankylosaurus. And in Priority 6, we have four dinosaurs announced. Hauskoraptor, which I think was already there before. Eutyrannus. Atopodentatus. And Beelzebuffo. I'm probably butchering these pronunciations right now. In Priority 7, we have the Spinosaurus, which we already know about. The Ankylosaurus. And the Pachyrhinosaurus. Uh, Pachyrhinosaurus is one of my favourite dinosaurs, so I... I'm quite excited for that. And lastly, at lowest priority, priority 8, we have Quetzalcoatlus and Pachycephalosaurus. Now, we still have some other dinosaurs that are unorganized at the moment. We have Tyrannosaurus, which is an apex, Acrocanthosaurus, another apex, Triceratops, probably going to be an apex too, and Fasolasuchus. And we also have Dimorphodon, Gallimimus, Amargosaurus, Dinosuchus, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Dinocharus, Dreadnoughtus, and I think that's about it for all the new announced dinosaurs. Anyways, with the new roadmap being updated and loads of new dinosaurs being uploaded into the roadmap, I'm pretty excited for them. However, I want you all to note that these dinosaurs have not been directly announced by Soul Explosion yet, they're just in the Trello roadmap, so I'm not sure if they're confirmed or not. And most of them are actually quite low on the priority list, so I wouldn't bet that they're gonna come anytime soon. I think the game is gonna have some refining to do before they finally come. And with this exciting news, I shall end off the video. If you have any opinions or comments on this news, do go ahead and let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, do go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And that's it for today. So this is Blocks and Builds with another Roblox PS3 video. Signing out.